Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today and we're going to be talking about a really interesting piece of free DLC coming to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. At Ubisoft's press conference, they announced the story creator mode for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Today I'm going to be giving you all the information on it alongside my thoughts because we haven't really seen anything like this before outside of this generation's best RPG, Divinity Original Sin 2, where they had their own campaign creator and you could actually have D&D campaigns online, it let you create your own levels, it was such a cool system and easily one of the games that deserves way more credit. We praise The Witcher 3, but we got to give Larian Studios some credit. They are doing God's work over there, making some of the best RPGs of this gen, and now they're working on Baldur's Gate 3. Anyway, Ubisoft is moving a step forward with RPGs by allowing us to go online and create our own stories. Now, during an E3 that's been quite lackluster, in my opinion, where everything nearby is getting cinematic trailers and everything that looks cool is too far away to even think is tangible, we have to focus on some of the smaller announcements. And I wanted to highlight like this one as I have a RPG focused audience on how Ubisoft is taking one of the better action RPGs in the last couple of years and bringing a really sizable update to it that brings replayability and player creation together. So all this information comes from the Assassin's Creed website. Let's get right into it. What is the story creator mode? Story creator mode is a quest creation tool that will allow you to create your own stories in the world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and play stories created by other players. It is available for free to all Assassin's Creed Odyssey Odyssey owners. We are taking our philosophy of empowering players with choice to another level, allowing you to write your own stories and accompany them with gameplay. The creation tool is based on the quest designer and branching dialogue system used for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The community created stories will be available for all players to play directly in game and are cross platform. Furthermore, the stories made in story creator mode will be available for everybody to play on the PS4, Xbox One, and Windows PC. To create your story, you must have access to a PC or laptop and you must must also own a copy of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and have a Ubisoft account. And when you make that Ubisoft account, you have to link one of your respective accounts, whether it's Xbox Live or PSN, to the Ubisoft account. So do keep that in mind. There is a little bit of working behind the scenes before you can actually get the system going. Now, when you actually do get this going, where can you find the story creator mode? The dedicated website will allow you to create new stories, manage your content, and discover other community-generated stories to play. In-game, you will have the option to turn on story creator mode from the main menu. Once you opt in, user generated stories will automatically appear in your world, easily identifiable by a special icon. Now, it's not just going to be one of those things where you opt in and then they say, okay, here's all the stories that people are playing, go play those. You can actually define your own content. There's a part that talks about what the Story Creator Mode website is, and it says, the Story Creator Mode website is the platform where you can create your own stories and find all the published stories made by other creators. On the website, you'll be able to browse all available content thanks to the filter system, discover other players' creator profiles, manage your quest log, and edit your own stories with story creator tools. So you'll be able to actually edit current quests you've created and also manage your quest log so you can select what quests you want to take on. And since it's connected to your, for example, PSN account, it will just log you in, tell your system pretty much what quests you have logged in because there'll be a server there. So upon arriving in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, all those story creator mode quests that you have selected will load in. And I think that's a really interesting system. But how about content you're interested in? We don't just want randomly generated stuff. We want the good stuff that bubbles to the top. On the Story Mode Creator website, you'll be able to search all available content thanks to a filter system based on tags given by the community. When finishing a story, each player will be prompted to give a rating and choose some predefined tags that most accurately represent the content they just played. Thanks to this community-based review system, quality content will become more visible and easier to find. This reminds me a little bit of the Doom Snap Map when you'd download something and you'd complete it from the snap map they would ask you for a rating at the end and we've seen player created content like this I think it's cool that it incorporates the PC side of things because it shows that Ubisoft wants you to go on there type up the dialogue incorporate choice and consequence which we'll get into a little bit and really delve into your own stories and bring this game to another level and I think it's great because it's free if this was something that launched alongside the game I think it may have been brushed under the rug a little bit kind of like the campaign creator mode that we saw in Divinity Original Sin 2 People are so busy talking about the base game that by the time they finished that, I'd say about 60, 70 hour adventure, they were done and did not touch the campaign creator mode, which was one of the coolest parts of the game. So I think the way that Assassin's Creed Odyssey is bringing this out later is actually healthy for the game and it can reinvigorate a lot of players, myself included, who enjoyed the base game thoroughly and want a reason to go back. I haven't looked at the Fate of Atlantis DLC, but I was a fan of how the season pass was structured on top of the free content. So for me personally, 
I like what I'm seeing with this story creator mode. What are the maximum number of stories you can have in your story log? You can add a maximum of 20 stories from the story creator mode website to your log. The stories you save to your story log will then appear in game as I explained earlier. Once you have completed a story, you can either leave it in your story log to try for another outcome so you can repeat these missions or you can remove it. If you don't have 20 stories saved in your story log, it will be populated with recommended stories in game. So you don't always have to go back and forth between your computer and your system, which is smart. If you max out your story log, but find more stories on the website that you'd like to add, you can also save over 250 stories for later, which you can then manually move to your story log when there is space. So there's a way to just manage everything, store a bunch of quests, do all your research, and then come back at a later time. I like how this system works, although I can imagine some folks will be a little bit dissuaded with the fact that it involves going to the computer, coming back at times. But how much variety can you create in these quests? I think for a lot of us out there who love RPGs, I think a lot of us out there have at least dabbled a bit in trying to create our own role-playing games. I remember when I was younger, I loved RPG Maker. That was one of my favorite programs as a kid. So when I see little story creator tools I get super excited how much variety can we create though let's get into that there are currently six different quest objectives to mix and match such as freeing or assassinating targets and going to specific locations over 80 beloved historical and fictional characters from Assassin's Creed Odyssey are available so you have a wide range of NPCs who you can star in your stories the branching dialogue aspect of the tool also allows to create stories with multiple endings and outcomes allowing for lots of opportunities for other communities Community members to replay content which brings us into our next step that I'll get into will you get to use historical characters and can you still interact with history and historical events you will have access to a range of beloved historical and fictional characters from the main game to use in your stories with the world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey as your backdrop you can retell the events you witness in the main game or create your own I think this is really awesome because since you have access to pretty much every major character in the game you can recreate moments in the main story and have them play out how maybe you would have preferred them to I also like the idea of for example they showed in the trailer Cassandra fighting her own mother and beating the snot out of her just crazy stuff like this is going to bubble up where if you got a kick out of some of the characters in the game or maybe you didn't like one of the characters and you wanted to take them out they actually give the option to create something like that that encourages that storyline or maybe an option where you can or can't assassinate someone i like what ubisoft's doing here man i think it really emphasizes what assassin's creed odyssey was all about now are there any limits to what you can create sadly there are for gameplay reasons some npcs and in-game areas are not available such as the mythical creatures and their arenas we also have some restrictions similar to the main game for example the length of dialogue lines and the amount of objectives available on the HUD these restrictions also apply to the amount of characters and dialogues you can have written within a story also you can have a maximum of 32 quests within a story which I think is plenty it is also not possible to create new characters and item models or directly mod the game that is a shame as someone who's a giant Bethesda Game Studios fan those games really live off of modding and that's what makes those quests so fun to go back to is people start creating their own assets and putting them in the game this is probably the only setback if you have that perspective but if you've never experienced that before this is a good way to get people in the door and start experiencing these types of stories because not everyone likes modding they think it's very intimidating I was originally one of those people before I braved that entire scene so I understand where folks may be coming from on that respect but also I wish that you'd be able to take an NPC for example and rename them I don't think that's asking for too much and I think given the fact that you have access to such a large database even if you could take an existing model and then give them a new name that's something that would be really really good for the game I feel but maybe we'll see that in a future update as the system is I like it but I think this would be a positive change if they could implement it I understand not adding new item models or directly modding the game but still I think creating new characters is something Ubisoft should look into how do I access story creator mode in game stories you save in your story log on the story creator mode website will automatically appear in game along with recommended stories based on your previously played stories or stories that are popular so sometimes you don't even have to search you have a popular filter there so you can just play the best ones if that's what you want to do instead of digging and lastly is rewards I mean this is an RPG for God's sakes we need to have our rewards how can I earn XP and drag me playing user generated stories any XP and drag me you earn in a story is carried over into your main game each quest completed with a story will reward a certain amount of drag me and XP depending on the players level so you cannot set rewards in these quests 
Once again, a bit of a setback if you have a modding background, you played a lot of BGS games before where you'd have players creating custom guns, custom armor, custom power armor, and giving that to you as a reward in a quest. So there was that incentive at the end of it all. So really what you're here for is experiencing the wacky or maybe deep creations that the community is making. Of course, there's no voice acting that's in there. It's just writing. But all in all, I think this is a good step forward and it's looking to change the game. We don't see this a lot in our action RPGs. Like I said, we've seen it in Divinity, we see it in modding and Fallout and Elder Scrolls, but we've never seen it in the likes of Ubisoft. So I am very happy and I encourage them to continue on this path. I think there are some ways for this mode to clearly improve, but with what it is currently and how user friendly it is off the bat, I think it's intuitive and encourages people to get involved whether you're playing or creating. And all in all, I'm on board with it. I think it'll be a positive change for our industry if they continue to pursue this because other companies will see it. Hopefully, it succeeds and maybe they'll start doing similar things like this encouraging the modding and changing and creations within their own projects. So that's just a quick update here for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm really thrilled with some of its post-launch content. The discovery mode for Odyssey is coming at the end of the year. I think it was smart to drop this mode right here today because, man, I just want to dive right in. So let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Fire away, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.